Hello, Cawthon Cards community. Thanks for stopping by. We are doing a box break of Throne of Eldrain. We have a bunch of different people getting packs, starting out with Aaron D. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more pack opening videos, hit subscribe. These are printed in Japan, so we're just going to go ahead and get straight to the rares. How about that? Foil Lucky Clover and Torbran Thane of Redfell. Got to showcase Flax and Intruder, see if there's anything else in here. Nothing too spicy. Let's see what else Aaron pulls. Aaron has uh, seven packs, I believe. I had them all lined up before we went live on the stream. Garrett Cursed Huntsman uh, emblem. That's pretty cool. Island and Fate of Wishes for your rare. You also got Sir Conrad. And I think that's probably about it. On to the next pack for Aaron. Appreciate everybody uh, purchasing packs. Should be a lot of fun here. Forest, the Cauldron of Eternity is our first mythic. Probably not one you want to hit, but uh, I've definitely seen that one pop up a few times. Tome Raider, common. Uh, four packs left, including this one. Sire, not Sir, wrong mythic artifact. Yeah, we're looking for the Great Henge, guys. That's what we're looking for. Food token, forest, iron crag feet for your rare. Also have sorcerer's broom, the lock dragon, and then your commons. Uh, I'm actually recording this during a live stream. So if you guys ever wanna come check out our live streams where you can open up packs, they're Monday and Thursday, 8.30 Eastern time. Uh, we do pretty much every week except Thanksgiving, obviously. Black Lance Paragon for your rare, Aaron. Also have your other fun stuff here. See anything in particular that you're looking for? Let me know. Also want to see Ember Cleave. That is correct, Sean the Barbarian. Another, oh, ad card. Boo. Mountain, foil festive funeral. That might be uh, what's coming in Crimson Vow. Brazen Borrower Mythic, great hit there. We'll get that sleeved up after we uh, open up the rest of the packs here for everybody. Congratulations, Aaron. That's definitely one you want to hit. Two Mythics out of seven packs, pretty good odds. Food Token again, Swamp, which is Vengeance Rare. Got a Wander Mare, Shepherd of the Flock, and then your comments. So Aaron, hope you're happy with your hits. Thank you very much for supporting the channel in the stream. Really does mean a lot to me. Next up, we have Brody. Brody is going ahead and getting four packs. So best of luck to you, Brody. Aaron says, thank you very much. Not a problem at all, Aaron. Let's see what Brody gets. You're on an adventure, Brody, to get a swamp with the foil shining armor. That's a well-named foil and castle vantress love these castles they're super cool keeper fables mystical dispute and shepherd of the flock showcase that's a pretty cool showcase card i love all the showcase artwork frames in the set like i feel like was third of drain the first showcase they definitely did a good job with it I'll just leave it at that human planes foil true love's kiss Colossus of Acris would like that sunder and stroke rare elite Headhunter, Seer Allen, the Lion's Claw, and Hypnotic Sprite, followed up by your commons. It was the first set with the alternate artwork. It's getting kind of crazy now. They just uh, released some Champions of Kamigawa, or not Champions, Neon Dynasty Kamigawa. Spoilers, ad card, boo. Looks kind of crazy. Gilded Goose, that's a uh, fun one. Was when it was in standard, at least. Tournament Grounds. Uh, crazy basic lands that are going to be in one and three set or draft packs. Those look amazing. They're like Japanese art style. I don't know what the official name for it is. I think they said woodblock or something. Mouse Forest Return of the Wild Speaker Rare. Also have your other stuff here for you, Brody. Hope you uh, got some cards you can add to your collection or some decks. Appreciate you supporting the channel. On to Myth. Myth got a handful of packs. Let's see what he gets here. Brody didn't have a goose, so that's good. No problem, Brody. Add card, boo. The Magic Mirror Mythic. Another legendary artifact we did not want, probably. Improbable Alliance is good, though. Seraphirin, the Henge Hammer, and Covetous Urge. 
So I think we've hit three mythics already. Would love to hit a great hand. So we've hit two of the artifacts. Maybe we can hit the rest of them. Raisin Borrower was a good mythic. Fabled Passage, that's a good rare right there. Okay, Adversary. And then your commons. Only two of the artifacts are good. Yeah, we've not hit the good artifacts, but Brazen Borrower was a good hit. Clay wants us to wait until we open his packs. Another ad card, boo. Swamp, Escape to the Wilds. Is that, was that only banded standard or is that banned in, uh, oh, Cauldron Familiar, that's supposed to be a good one. And then Sire Kara the Bold. Also got your commons back here. I believe Cauldron Familiar is a couple dollar uncommon, best I remember. Improbable Alliance, I think, was good too. Uh, the card was banned and standard only that we were talking about. Planes followed up by Foil Planes, followed up by Piper of the Swarm. I think that's a couple dollar hit right there. That uh, Deathless Knight was the last uncommon I got for Throne of Eldraine. Opened it in the last pack out of two or three boxes, which was kind of crazy. What does one want out of Throne? I know for sure you want the Great Henge. Embercleave is good. Brazen Borrower, Fervent Champion. It's a cool card, but probably not the one you want from a value perspective. Um, some other people can chime in with some of the other hits. Be happy to read those off. It's food token, not an egg. For a second, I always feel like we have list cards, and then I remember these are not set boosters. Ooh, Foil Showcase, Queen of Ice. Very cool looking in Foil. It's a common, so it's probably not valuable. Bone Crusher Giant Showcase Rare. That's pretty cool. And then let's see. That is it. So thank you very much, Myth. Appreciate you supporting the channel and the stream. Hope you happy with some of those polls. Next up, we have Clay, who's hoping for that great henge. We'll see what we can do, Clay. After that, we have Ronnie and Kirknall as well. So best of luck to everybody. No problem, Myth. Thanking us in chat. You guys won't be able to see chat on this, but if you want to watch the replay, Human Cleric Token's pretty cool. Don't see many of those. Foil Seven Dwarves, I think that's probably a good common hit. Giant Killer Rare. Sire Conrad the Grim. Turn into a Pumpkin. Very, uh... What do you call it? Very flavorful set in the fairy tale world. Let's see. Another ad card. Poo! Swamp. Castle Locked Way, and that's a decent hit. Falmire Knight. Showcase Ember... Emberous Shieldbreaker. I don't think I've seen this one before. That's some cool artwork. Giant Opportunity. Followed up by your comments. Talmar says that uh, Castle Locktwain is the best castle. That would not surprise me. I saw it a lot when Throne was in Standard. Island, Murderous Rider. That was also played heavily in Standard. Not sure where it's gone after that. And then the rest of your cards here. But yeah, I'm totally excited about what 2022 has come for Magic between Unstable, or no, Infinity. Uh, ooh, Linden, the Steadfast Queen Rare. Sire Farron, all the glitters and turn into a pumpkin. Um, Infinity, and then we have Brothers War, Dominary United, um, Streets of New Capenna. Jumpstart 2022, Double Double Masters, Wicked Wolf. It's going to be a fun year, so uh, definitely looking forward to new content in 2022. Also, uh, going to be doing some other fun stuff on the channel. Clay, those are your packs. Congratulations. Next up, we have Ronnie. Best of luck to you, Ronnie. Hope you... Uh, Ronnie got the most packs out of everybody with 10, so in theory... You should have the best shot at pulling the best cards, but we all know how that works. Boosters are random. Swamp, Lockmere Serpent Rare, which is of an improbable alliance. Good cards. And then your commons. Let's see what else Ronnie can pull here. I was joking when I said double double masters. I think they're calling it double masters 22. Foil rare Hushbringer. There's our foil rare. Creepy art with the lips in the background there, but it is what it is. Black Bridge Troll. Okay, Ranger Showcase. Animating Fairy. And then your commons. Quadruple masters. 
That'd be something, wouldn't it, guys? Get four rares and four foils per booster pack. Oh, wait, that's a collector pack. Vantress Gargoyle, Kenra's Transformation, Drown and Lock. That's another good uncommon there. Revenge of Ravens. Um, I wonder if they're going to do collector boosters for Double Masters 22, and how would they do that? Would they be a 30-card booster with up to 10 rares and mythics per pack? Or are they going to do another Double Masters VIP once upon a time rare? Cauldron's Gift, Shambling Suit, and Covetous Urge. No clue what Wizard's going to do there. Seven Dwarves, good common there, because you can have up to seven in your deck, not just four, so that's pretty cool. Dane thinks they're going to do VIP. We'll see. Planes, Foil Fairy Guide Mother, Folio of Fancies. We should be hitting another Mythic here soon. Hypnotic's Right Showcase. Storybook Frame, I think is what they called that, but maybe back then it was just Showcase. Everybody's thinking they'll do the VIP. It'll be interesting to see. Another ad card. Boo! Swamp. Acclaimed Contender Rare. Be cool to see a foil mythic here. But uh, running out of packs. I think Ronnie's got about four or five left. Then Kirknall has a handful. And then uh, this box is done. So we still need to find a great henge, guys. Island. Foil rare again for Ronnie Escape to the Wilds. Happily ever after. Edgewall Innkeeper. It's a good and common inquisitive puppet. See what else we can find. So tiny. Can't remember how many times I said that card's name, but every time it was ridiculously tiny. Swamp, Gadwick the Wizened Rare, Epic Downfall. That's what, oh, Glass Casket. That was fun when it was in standard. Um, but Eldraine was a very powerful set when it was in standard. Honestly, kind of glad to see it gone, uh, but we'll see what Wizards has in store for us. Worthy Night Rare, Wintermore Commander. Claim the Firstborn. That card is printed all the time. Last pack for Ronnie. Good luck. This is your last chance for a Henge, Ronnie. That's what we're looking for. Fairy token. That's pretty cool. Ooh, it's green. Ah, oh, Questing Beast. Still a good mythic. It's got a wall of text on it, but cards keep getting more and more text. So this actually doesn't look that bad anymore. Grum Gully. Trail of Crumbs. Into the story. Trav Walters. Thanks for subscribing. If you're in chat, make sure to say hi. Next up, we have Kirknall. Hope you got some stuff you're looking for there, Ronnie. Appreciate you supporting the stream. So Kirknall, closing out the box with these last few packs. Best of luck to you. See what we can pull. On an adventure to the mountain with a foil fire born knight and a storm fist crusader. Steel claw lance, that's me. Three packs to go. If you guys enjoy this video and you're still watching and you haven't clicked thumbs up, I don't know what you're waiting for. Same thing with subscribing. Castle Arndvale vale for your rare. Cauldron's Gift, Sarakara the Bold. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, it's a great way to help the channel out for free. Plus, I do two shorts, YouTube shorts pack openings a day, and then I do box openings like this and our stream on Mondays and Thursdays, 8.30 Eastern Time. Feasting Troll King for your rare Marleaf Pixie Skullknocker Ogre. This uh, brings back some good memories, but I'm very sad we have not hit a great henge. This is our last chance, so best of luck to you, Kirknall. If it's not here, we might have to get another box and try again. Swamp, Foil Lost Legion, and Castle Embreath. So no great henge. Heraldic Banner, that's a fun card. Frogify. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one.